The Nissan LEAF Drive Electric Tour is making stops all over America. Right now, it is here in Long Beach, California. Let's find out what people are saying. Since the LEAF is all electric, it requires zero gas, therefore it produces zero emissions. Participants had the opportunity to learn about the LEAF's battery, charging and cost. Can you first start off by telling me a little bit about this LEAF electric vehicle? I can tell you a lot about it, actually. It depends on how much you want to know. Um, the first thing is it's all electric, obviously, so it's got a limited range. We, we have 100 miles worth of range because our battery pack holds 24 kilowatt hours of energy. So when you charge the car up, you've got about that much in range. It really depends on how you drive the vehicle, though. If you drive conservatively, you'll see more than 100 miles worth of range. If you drive erratically or irresponsibly, you'll see less than 100 miles worth of range. Best range we ever saw was 138, and the worst we ever saw was about 62. So the average is still in the 90 to 100 miles per charge range. Now, is the solar panel a new addition to the LEAF? Because I don't remember that from the first version. Well, it's a good catch. We had the solar panel on the SL model. There are two different models, the SV model and the SL. The SV is $35,200 and the SL is $37,250. So the SL is a little bit of a higher end model. It comes with fog lights. It comes with uh, a rear backup camera. It comes with the solar panel. It comes with the standard fast charge plug, which is a Chatmo plug. The SV model doesn't come with a fast charge capability yet. There's, there's maybe in the future it will, maybe not, but so far the SL model is the only one that comes standard with the fast charge option. Okay. So uh, how many cities have you been so far on this tour with the Nissan LEAF? Oh man, let me think. Uh, if I add them up, we've been up and down the East Coast, so that was one, two, three, four, probably five. Then around the Midwest, a couple cities, one, two, three, four. So, so far we've probably hit uh, 10 or 12 cities on this tour. So how has the level of participation been? It's been pretty good, actually. Um, I was very enthused by the turnout in Chicago. We had a ton of people come out. They were very interested in the car. I was a little disappointed by the New Yorkers, though, considering I'm from the East Coast. We had an event in Jones Beach. It was one of our first events, and we didn't actually get a ton of people out. I thought that more New Yorkers would be interested in a car that could help them out with all the congestion problems that they face. Now, on the West Coast here, we've had a lot of enthusiasm in Santa Monica, in Long Beach, um, in San Francisco. We had a lot of enthusiasm last year so the West Coasters are, are I think a little more ahead of the curve on this so yeah it's it's been pretty good okay. so now I understand you got a few more stops to go so when people show up to this, what are they going to see here? Well, when they show up, what we do is we set up this event. We come in on a Wednesday, and we build this event um, that's basically built out of shipping containers. They open up, we build some scaffolding on top, and we hang sails. And then on Friday, we open up for the public at 9 a.m., and the public comes in, and we give them a brief tour, kind of an overview of the car, so folks that don't know anything about it can get an idea of what's going on and we show them the batteries we have a display open up we show them under the hood we tell about the features of the car talk to them about the price answer all their questions and then we give them a test drive and when they come back from the test drives they can get their picture taken with the car they can hang out and talk to more leaf experts they can see our accessory line they can watch a couple videos and um, then that's that's pretty much then they go and hopefully tell their friends about it and then their friends come in the next day any other comments you'd like to add while we're still here? Uh, I think everybody should know that you know this tour that we do um, is it really is to to get the word out to the general public because you know the leaf is the first of its kind. Um, it's sort of the the first shot in an ongoing electric vehicle development for all manufacturers. So what we want to do is have as many people come in take the car for a drive, learn a little bit more about it as possible, so that after their drive they can see that this is a real car that this is not unlike their own car it's just a lot more quiet and it's you know a lot more environmentally friendly all right very good thanks so much you're welcome thank you the 2012 model of the leaf will cost two thousand dollars more than the current model because of the solar panel on the rear spoiler and the cold weather package 
The new SL model also includes a quick charge point, rear view monitor, cargo cover, fog lamps, and automatic on-off headlamps.